Made it to Dresden Airport. I think we're a little bit early. There is literally no one here. Just see, no one's here. No one's here. There's the milkshake machine though. How do you feel about that? Well, I want so bad. I'm so hot. I'm like having issues. I'm having some tummy issues and some some feelings that I shouldn't be feeling. I'm sweating. Are you not filming in case you can't figure it out? No, I'm just gonna steal your footage. Okay. She's put that there. Oh. Oh, that's it. That's it. That was, really that was so quick, I don't even think I got the footage. I really enjoy like silence and quiet and all, but this is eerily quiet. Can I have another milkshake? If you get one, we can, you can get one when you get the tomato cheese snack. There's a tomato cheese snack. Look at this pimple. My skin has been breaking out for like two weeks now. What do I do? How do I fix it? Don't That's know. Look how nice the Munich airport is. It's beautiful. Now I'm trying to find the restroom. I have no idea how we made it here. We were flying around for like two hours extra than we were supposed to because this airport is currently closed. We were supposed to miss our connection, but our connection got delayed. Long story short, we're hopefully gonna make our flight. We made it. I don't know how. Let's see what it's gonna be like. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay. I think he said six six one. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is that's a big bed. He told us we were gonna have to sleep on one tiny bed. Hold on, I've got a story. Let me get my bags. So it's like almost midnight. We checked into the hotel we were supposed to check into and they were like, oh, we have a problem with your room tonight. So we've got to send you to another hotel. But don't worry, we'll get you a cab. Long story short, lots of cab rides, lots of delays, crazy, crazy travel day, which should have only probably taken like three hours total, took like a 12 hours. And then they're like, we only have one double bed for you. This bed's nice. Yeah, this is fine. This is nice big bed. I thought we I were, I, yeah, I thought we were gonna be on like those tiny, tiny little beds. I would have had to sleep on this bench. But now we're on a mission to find food. I would like a nice slice of pizza. How did we get here? Uh -huh. I wish there was like a camera attached to us that could have filmed everything that's happened. Until then. We've moved on to our hotel that we're supposed to be in. That is a fact. We had a lot of issues getting inside the, the actual room and she's like, well maybe I'll try this other room. That door opens. I don't even know, it doesn't even sound good. You, you actually just had to be here. But let me show you guys the bathroom. The shower appears to be right behind our bed. Some grass, it's like, hey, it looks like a golf course. Am I at the dentist? Turn the light on. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. I don't know actually what, oh gosh. Anyway, I think we're gonna go to the pole. I feel like I need a day of rest relaxation. and relaxation. We haven't stayed in a hotel longer than a couple of nights. All this packing has been stressful. Game plan. Coffee, pool, that's it. Ugh. What is that hanging on the wall? Is it a light? It's a bag. 
So I've been traveling for about seven days at this point and we only pack carry-ons. We've got limited clothing options. So I think it's time to do some laundry. I'm gonna have the hotel do the more important things like my pants, but I think I can handle socks and underwear and some t-shirts. You guys remember these Tide packets that I bought? It's time to figure out how to use them. Just add pockets of warm water in the sink. Nothing is fitting in this sink. I'm gonna use the bathtub. Eighty-five degrees. We're drinking coffee in the pool because there's nowhere to sit, and we haven't had breakfast yet. So this is how we do. All right, ready for a day of exploring. I'm having a little tummy issues. I had a banana and a smoothie, so it's gonna be an interesting day out in the heat, 90 degree weather. But I'm excited to explore. Gelato. What is, what is going on here? I'm not sure. It was really good. It melted way too quickly. Now we're heading to see the Spanish stairs and then we're gonna be going to a Pittsburgh bar. My friend from home sent me a message. He's like, you gotta go to the Pittsburgh bar. You gotta ask for this person and you gotta do a flaming absence shot. So I was like, okay, I will. So many shops that I wanna go in that I can't go in. I mean, I can go in. I can just peek, right? Maybe just get one thing. What are these? What are these fuzzy balls? I'm not sure. Made it to the stairs. You look so silly. Lost in Roma. You look so silly. Now we're gonna be heading to the Pittsburgh bar. Flaming absinthe. Why not? At 4.30 in the afternoon. Gotta wait at the Botticella! Hey, I figured out what it was called. La Botticella. What's it called? La Botticella. I think. What if Giovanni isn't working? Giovanni better be there. He doesn't know. He doesn't know we're coming. He doesn't know we're coming. We didn't have that. We had 14 mutual friends on Facebook, so I know it's safe. Did you get the shot? Got the shot. Crucial. We're coming up on it. I think. We made it. So, so I hear that the flaming absence shot is. You don't think I should do it? No. Can I do like half of one? No, not nothing flaming, flaming ladies. How about, not, how about not flaming, just regular? Yes. We'll let you taste it. Taste it. So we're gonna come inside. Welcome to Rome, come on This inside. is beautiful, yay! I said I couldn't have the absinthe because I can't handle it. I appreciate the honesty. So you're saying I shouldn't do it? I'm saying you shouldn't do it. Okay, well I'm gonna do it. <laughs> you want the whole shot? Uh, uh, sixty uh, percent. It's 138 proof. Oh, it smells good. Yeah? I'm gonna have a chaser. Seven. No, no sorry. Six. Sorry, mom. How did I start it? Good, right? I don't like licorice. It smells good. We had the best time at that Steelers bar. It was so great. I mean, I'm not just saying that because I took a shot of absinthe that I'm feeling a little silly. <laughs> what were you saying, Leslie? Justine, you were feeling silly? That is what I was saying. You're like, I feel so silly. That was my first time. Actual first time taking a shot of absinthe. On a, a semi empty 
empty tummy, only some gelato. So we're heading to our dinner spot right now. I'm ready to eat some pasta, some pizza, have some water. What a great time at the Steeler Bar. The restaurant. What a what am I going to get? I love fettuccine Alfredo. <laughs> oh boy, I don't know what to do with my excitement. I don't know if my tummy can handle that right now. Maybe I'll get it on the side. An appetizer of fettuccine Alfredo. I haven't had fettuccine Alfredo in so long. But guess what? what I'm getting today. Guess what I'm getting today, guys. It does look amazing. Oh, baby. So we're here. We're going to have a piece of bread. It's so cool. In fact, I'm sure that's what it looks like. I'm so hungry. And a little dizzy. <laughs> they just mix this up for us right in front of our face. He said, do not wait. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm speechless. It's incredible. <laughs> Linguini al pesto. Yes, please. I got the berry cheesecake and you got a little a little splatter of cone sauce. Well, as you can tell, we are back in the hotel. We had a great day exploring Rome today. We have more excursions coming tomorrow. Please ignore the towel on my head. I just got out of the shower. It was a much needed shower after sweating all day. We had an incredible dinner, incredible day. Uh, let us know if there's any suggestions in Rome that we should do. Mm, actually, I'm probably not going to be here, but I'm still curious if I come back. Thank you guys for watching. I love you. I gotta go to bed.